Our capstone project was sponsored by Detroit Diesel Remanufacturing West, or DDRW, a subsidiary of Detroit Diesel that remanufactures diesel engines, turbochargers, and other heavy machinery. Our project centered around improving their turbo remanufacturing process to increase the number of turbos that were recoverable. Currently, over 25% of the turbo compressor housings that enter the facility are too warped and out of tolerance to recover. We were challenged to research, validate, design, and build a system that would allow DDRW to recover these housings by adding material that could then be machined down to the correct dimensions. The first step was determining the optimal process. We looked into dozens of metal deposition processes. After literature reviews, professional consultations, and concept scoring matrices, twin wire arc spray was chosen as the optimal method. This process involves arcing a voltage between two wires and spraying the molten material onto a substrate using a compressed gas. It was the cheapest, fastest, and it was capable of giving us the material depth we needed. But we didn't know if it would give us the bond strength we needed, how long it would take to get the material buildup we wanted, or if it would be economically viable to deploy this process in the factory at Detroit Diesel. Initial tests led us to believe it was possible, but the tests were crude. To get better results, we enlisted the help of Mr. Fanuk, a welding robot in the basement of the Crabtree building. We needed to determine the specific requirements of the process as they related to our objective, which was adding material to the surface of the turbo compressor housing. To do this, we needed to know the correct recipe of variables that would give us a sufficient bond strength and satisfactory surface finish. After dozens of tests, the process requirements were clear. A paint job with a special carbon black antibond agent, a quick sanding to remove surface oxidation, and a couple minutes in the oven. The preheat in the oven helps the sprayed layer bond to the housing even as the layer cools. Once the process was clearly defined, we began generating concepts of a machine that would be capable of replicating the motion required to spray the housings. The machine would need to be capable of spraying up to 200 housings a day and do so safely and reliably. Our final concept resulted in a machine with four degrees of freedom, a vertical stage, a horizontal stage, a wrist action, and a turntable. Once the design was complete, the project entered fabrication mode. Members of Team 10 dedicated up to 30 hours a week planning and submitting reports, welding, machining, testing, and assembling the machine. We were fortunate enough to receive assistance from Bart Bunker, who championed the automation and controls. Although the process has been verified and the machine has been built, there is still plenty of work to be done before the process can be integrated into the factory at DDRW. In order to obtain valid test results, housings will need to be sprayed on site in order to verify that the cleaning process will be sufficient. Standardized bond strength and dyno tests will need to be performed to ensure the housings can withstand the heat and pressure of service use. In conclusion, the system we created has the potential to significantly impact the bottom line. Recovering 25% more housings with a marginal increase in cycle time will not only increase profit potential, but will also support the DDRW corporate vision of conducting business in a manner that is faithful to the local and global environment. Remanufacturing is becoming recognized as the highest form of recycling, producing like new products while minimizing the impact on the environment.